Two threats against two different Chesterfield County schools all in the last 48 hours. Today, a social media threat prompted an increased police presence at Thomasdale High School. But just yesterday, a bomb threat made by two juveniles caused disruption at Spring Run Elementary School. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan has been talking with a concerned parent and a security expert about this issue tonight. I, it makes you wonder, what are we sending our kids off to every day? One Chesterfield County parent who only wished to use her first name, Wendy, has two children attending Thomasdale High School. It was the site of a frightening situation Friday morning. A social media post threatening possible harm to the school, prompting an increased police presence on the campus throughout the school day. A spokesperson for Chesterfield County Police told 8 News they received a report a student would have a firearm at school but the student didn't show and no weapon was found. This message to parents from the school principal later in the day read in part, quote, we immediately involved Chesterfield police, which deemed the threat non-credible. But this message came too little, too late for some. It's really frustrating when we're always left in the dark, when we're finding out about things from our kids that we should be finding out from our administration or from even Chesterfield County, for that matter. This comes right on the heels of another incident at Spring Run Elementary School 24 hours before. Two juveniles threatened to bomb the school during an online chat, causing police to sweep the buildings Thursday morning, determining that threat was incredible. Cliff Lent, president of M7 Solutions, says, while these kinds of threats are unfortunately becoming all too common, he says you should still take them seriously. Suspicious. If you see something suspicious, if you hear of threatening behavior, absolutely continue to report it uh, because that's going to be what helps the school, the police department get out in front of a potential attack and stop it before it occurs. Very critical info there. And remember, any serious threats can lead to legal repercussions. We don't know yet whether any students were arrested in these cases.